G'day guys, I'm GoTrain and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'll be doing a tutorial on how to change your Steam image thumbnail for your Steam Workshop items, which you can use for Scrap Mechanic, but you can use it for any game on Steam that has the Steam Workshop enabled. So if you're wondering how in the Steam Workshop, for a game like Scrap Mechanic, where in the vanilla game you can't really change the thumbnail, um, this will be the tutorial for that. So the first thing you want to do, uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, to the GitHub page. Uh, this was made by Technologic Nick, someone who was in the Scrap Mechanic community. I, I think he mostly just makes mods and tools and that for the game. So the first thing you want to do, you have all these files here. Uh, you can just scroll down and then it'll tell you to download the latest Steam, Steam change preview release. Uh, you just click on the link there in the releases tab and then you'll want to do the zip file here. And I'll download here and I'll just open I'll just open that up and then uh, you want to open a folder in your file explorer to extract it in so I'll just make a new folder here I've already I've already got it down here but I'll just make a new folder and I'll just call like steam change preview 2 and then um, you'll just get this in here and then we can extract it here and then see you have um, your exe file and then you have a steam api file here and um all right the next step uh we want to have um a, a blueprint to change the preview i'm just gonna open up scrap mechanic now and then i can um upload a, a blueprint um so we can uh, demonstrate it and the great thing with this uh, particular tool is that it lets you change uh, the preview for all Steam games, not just in Scrum Panic. And it's also the, the most, probably the only reliable method for like, for changing the thumbnail image of a Steam Workshop item entirely. All right, so once you've have, once you've made your thumbnail, I'm using Paint.net, which is a free uh, open source image manipulation software, but you can use any program. And so once you've finished making your um, a thumbnail that you want to use, uh, just save it. I'll just call it like Tanker Thumbnail. All right, and um, let's go back to the files here. There's a bunch of random stuff in here. And then it'll be this one. And anyway, what we can do, uh, we'll have uh, that file open. And then we'll head back to a Steam uh, preview change image. And so we just want to drag this into the Steam change preview. And so when it'll say open with Steam change preview, so just do that. Um, be sure that you have your Steam running as well and that you're online or, or else this won't work. And it'll tell you to enter the publish file ID. All that is, is just the numbers up here of your Steam Workshop link. So you just um, copy that, uh, control V, uh, paste it in here, then press enter. And it'll tell you to enter the app ID. And so the app ID, that is the uh, number of the game. So we can just uh, head to to Steam and then you hit the store page here and then it'll come up up here so if for the case in the case of Scram Mechanic that would be 387990 uh, and, and to make sure we can just um, paste just copy and paste like that just to make sure we didn't mess it up all right I'll just close it. and it'll say and then if it works it'll say success and um, if it doesn't work, uh, you, what you might have to do, if let's say if you have an antivirus like Advance, Advance Fast uh, installed, you might have to temporarily disable it and then re-enable it after you've done the preview image. Because I knew I know that um, having an antivirus could potentially stop that from updating the um, thumbnail. But anyways, so we'll head back to our Steam Workshop item and then we'll refresh it. And there you go, and now it has the new updated uh, workshop item and, or workshop item preview. And so that's how you get custom previews in Steam. Uh, so yeah, you can do that for any game. It doesn't just have to be Scram Mechanic, it should. I've, I've done it for City Skylines. It's a lot easier just to do it like that uh, to change the preview image instead of uh, the tedious way where you have to go to the inbuilt modding tool. The, the old way you used to change the preview image, if you go in the Scrum kind of files here, it will be in textures. Uh, so if you go to GUI, there's uh, there's a Steam preview background. And so this is what will be used in the background of um, the Steam preview image. And then what it does, it just like 
stretches it out to fit the whole um, area of it. So you can also alternatively um, just like paste that there. So yeah, you save this and now we'll use this preview image. If you just want to change just the background, um, let's upload something else. Well, we have to restart the game. So it will use uh, that preview image uh, that you put in here. Uh, just make sure you have it underneath under one megabyte. Um, otherwise, you can encounter an error code, error code 25, um, which is where, which um, in my experience, it's what happens when you try changing the scene preview background and it goes over one megabyte. So just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, but that's basically the tutorial done. Since you're still here, I'll plug my other videos as well. If you could please watch my um, Crane Enthusiast plays Future Charles video, that would be great. It didn't really get very popular, even though I, I spent a lot of time editing it. Because I had like one hour and ten it was like one hour and ten minutes recording and I got it down to like 30 something minutes. So I'd, I probably completed like one third of the game. Because it's like, you have to get three of the eggs to aggravate Charles to a fight of the death. And I've already completed like one third of the game. And in just that one video. And I, yeah, and that was like one of the videos where I have my avatar. Uh, if you want to watch that, that'd be sh then uh, yeah, that'd be very grateful for me. Anyways, I'll just end it here. I'll just see you. <laughs>